I'm gonna show you how I take my curly hair that looks like this. Okay, I make it look like this. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm an, I'm an expert in hair, so you guys are in good hands. Just kidding, I literally never do my hair. So let's see if this works out. I'm gonna basically take my hair and section it off. Okay, so I got this like thing and I was like, I'm never using it. Why am I never using it? And that's because I usually don't like doing my hair right when I get out of the shower. Usually I will take a shower at night and then go straight to bed and I'm like not in the mood to do my hair at 11 o'clock at night, you know what I mean? So I found a way to make my hair get that like perfect blowout look. Um, from dry hair. I will take my, I'll take my uh, like heat protectant and use that to make it wet. And then I go in. So it's perfect, it's like a win-win. So this is a Quo, it's like a Conair thing, but um, you know, like there's like the Revlon one you can get on Amazon, you could pretty much use any one. I like this one because it's just like a bit thicker and it's gonna give me like a blown out look rather than like too thin and be like curls or too wide and just be like not that voluminous. So. Hey guys, it's editing Michelle. Okay, basically what I'm doing here is I'm taking the brush and I am smoothing it out first. Um, for the most part, I'm doing it away from the face. See how I'm going away from the face? It's on the back side. And then, yeah, that's how it looks. It's like straight and it's got a little flippy at the end, which is exactly what we want for that like 70s vibe. Now I'm just taking my hair down, working in sections. I basically, I used to take this and go like this, go like this and go through my hair, but I made my hair really greasy, so don't do that. It is better to just take your spray and go from afar. Okay, so see how like hideous my sections are? What I'm trying to say is it does not have to be perfect. It's just fun. We're just out here having fun. <laughs> yeah, so always away from the face. And I'm holding on to the little tip at the end. Hopefully yours has a little cool tip at the end. But yeah, this is how it should look. It should look like kind of puffy and like thick. And now I'm bringing down the most important pieces. I'm also using the tool to smooth out my little baby hairs there. And it really helps and works. Okay, now the bangs. This is interesting. Um... I can't find my comb. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this clip. Basically, I'm just gonna go like this and find the bang. Well, they're not really bangs. Well, they're curtain bangs, but I'm gonna find my part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them and push them to the left, then push them to the right, then push them up. Watch and learn. Okay, here we go, left right, then I do it again, watch, 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 left, right. You see how sloppy I'm being? It doesn't have to be perfect, guys, trust me, it'll turn out. And then under, 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 under. Let's see how this turned out. Yeah, I like it a lot. That's really what I was going for. See? Cute, no? Mm-hmm. And that's it. And so like these bangs just like give my hair like a layer, like lots of layers. You know, because like without it, it would just be like this and see how different it is. Now with it, I'm like boom. So basically what the haircut that you have to ask for at your um, like hairdresser is a little bit of layers and curtain bangs. You could do long curtain bangs, you can do short curtain bangs. My uh, shortest piece is around here and my longest piece is like here. But I think I'm like ready for some like bangs, you know? I'm ready for like that. <laughs> but yeah, so this is how the hair looks. Let's actually step into the light so that you guys can see what's up because this lighting in here is not really. Oh, and one thing that I want to say, you're gonna lose a lot of hair. Because it's like, imagine you're like brushing your hair, you would lose hair anyways, but with, when you're brushing your hair with heat, it just kind of like amplifies everything. So yeah, get ready to lose some hair, ladies. Okay, this is it in the natural light. This is how it's looking. And should I get my bead on? That is it. Guys, look at it. It's actually so voluminous. I've literally 
have stopped using my, well, I have, mm, that's an exaggeration. I haven't stopped using my flat iron because I'm just like so addicted to it. I'm such a millennial, but I have not been using my flat iron as much. This is just, I feel like it's less damaging for the hair and it looks so much more just like mm, woman. You know what I'm saying? So this is the final result. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Mm. 